With aging, there is a decrease in muscle mass and muscle function, together with some infiltration of the muscle with uh, fat. And this decrease in muscle function is associated with a decrease in uh, gait speed, in muscle strength, and particularly muscle power. And as you know, muscle power is one of the components which uh, allows us to resist to a fall. And uh, even if most of the falls are not associated with a fracture, most of the fractures are coming from a fall. The muscle loss occurring with aging can be somewhat prevented. Probably the, the best prevention is physical exercise, but it's not a, a minute one. It should be a daily physical exercise, five days a week. There are several recommendations from very prestigious bodies for the elderly. And in addition to that, and with some possibly an interaction, there is the food intake, but with the proteins. It seems that uh, if you follow a session of physical exercise with an intake comprising some protein, the muscle protein synthesis is much better as compared as only physical exercise or only uh, proteins. So there is some interaction between both. We should be aware that uh, the requirement of protein DLD is probably a little bit higher as compared with the requirement in the young people. You need a little bit more protein, more amino acid in the elderly to ensure the same uh, level of protein synthesis. Now in terms of quality, we know that essential amino acids are fundamental. And among the amino acids, then it depends on the mechanism you are tackling. For instance, we know that the uh, synthesis of IGF-1, both at the liver level but maybe at the peripheral tissue as well, is stimulated by some in amino acid, specifically by the aromatic one, and those aromatic are present in cheese and in dairy products. The take-home message to prevent muscle loss occurring with aging is first of all to have a well-balanced diet, is to avoid to be obese, and then we should combine, uh, but these are uh, general recommendations which are related to hygiene. Uh, it's to combine regular physical exercise and enough protein, those of good quality, and among the protein of good quality, we know that those provided by the dairy products, particularly the whey protein, are uh, very efficacious in terms of uh, preventing or in terms of attenuating the loss of muscle occurring with age.